Steve. So, Welcome to Marwin is, is, is the, uh, the new film we do with Robert Zemeckis. Yeah. Hey, we have a clip here, but tell the people what, what it's about and who you play. It's, this, it's a really interesting story. It's based on a documentary about this guy who suffers this, this terrible hate crime. And as a way of healing, he, he creates this scale model World War II town in his backyard. And all of his friends have alter egos in the, the characters and the dolls in these towns. And he himself has a heroic character that he kind of heals through and lives vicariously through and is able to process a lot of the things that, uh, that he's dealing with. Mm -hmm. And in the, the, we have a clip in a courtroom scene. What's happening here? Yeah, well, he has gone to face his accusers uh, in the courtroom. And he suffers from post-traumatic stress, so there, there's, a lot, there's a lot going on. And the way that Robert Zemeckis has created this film, it goes from uh, fantasy to reality. He's brought this doll world to life, and, and that'll become evident in this clip. All right, Jim. The defendants are summoned here today to the Ulster County Court for the purposes of hearing the recommended sentence. Is the victim here? Would you like to address the court? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Hogan Camp, please address the court when you're ready. So you're a doll. So I'm a doll. Did you have to do, like, it's, it's all a performance capture. It's performance capture. And, and the way that scene uh, continues, my, you know, the real life character runs down the hall and the camera pans back and it's exactly as it had started. It was completely in his imagination. It was just what, you know, and, and an uncut. It was, it's a really cool camera move. It just comes back and the courtroom is standing there astounded by what they just witnessed, and it was all in his head. Um, you're also playing Dick Cheney. No, you're, you're playing... Uh, Donald Rumsfeld. You're playing Donald Rumsfeld in the film about Dick Cheney, Vice, yeah. that our old friend Adam McKay uh, directed. Have you ever met Rumsfeld? No. No, Did I doubt I ever will. <laughs> you never know. I haven't met him twice. I've met him. Oh, you have? I've interviewed him. Yeah, oh, really? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't think... Well, no, I did not meet him prior to this. Difficult person to interview. I would imagine, yeah. What was your... What's, like, now that you've played him, he's sort of thought of as a, a dark and slippery character. What, what, how do you... What's your view of this? He's an important historical figure. I think the dark and slippery is sort of the behind the scenes. What I picked up watching, you know, his press conferences seems very affable and approachable and, and kind of homespun. He had a, a, a smile to, a, to him and a, uh, a, a, I don't know, sort of a boyish, like let's sit on the front porch and, and whittle and have some fun. And he was a jokester. But when you find out that both, uh, both Nixon and Kissinger said, you gotta be, you gotta be aware of that guy. He, that guy's terrifying. I mean, for them to say that about him, <laughs> says a lot about what was going on behind Yeah, put doors. that on the resume. Yeah, exactly. Uh, Steve, it's fantastic to see you. Yeah, Thanks whatever. For... <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Marwin is in theaters on Friday. Vice opens Christmas Day.